Hello and welcome to another video looking at the AQA GCSE Computer Science Specification. We're starting with Paper 1. I'm Mr Chapman. We're looking at the Input, Output and Process model today. If you are a student on this course and you find these videos helpful, please remember to subscribe to the channel and pop a like on this video for us. So let's get things started with the Input, Process, Output model. This is a diagram that if you're not already familiar with, you will get very familiar with as you go throughout this course. And this model is telling us quite simply how computers work. So taking it from the left hand side to the right hand side of the diagram there, data flows into the system from outside of it used during that input stage. So that's where we're taking data into the system. It's then processed in some way to transform those inputs. It does something to the inputs. If those inputs aren't needed straight away, they might end up in storage where they'll stay until they're needed. Um, so data can move back and forth between storage and processing. Once the data has been transformed, it then reaches the output stage. And during the output stage, that's when our data or information flows back out of the system again. And the feedback element comes in when we take the output of one process and use that as an input for a future process. So everything we're doing with algorithms and with computer programs is working along this model. We're taking user input, we're doing something with it, not necessarily straight away, it could go into storage first, but there's definitely some processing going on. And then our system is giving some kind of output. And that output might not make it all the way out of the system straight away. It might feed back in and become a new input again. But everything we're doing with algorithms is following this really simple to follow model. So let's take an example of that. We've got a box and we want to calculate the volume of a box. All we know about it are its length, its width, and its height. This is something you probably recognize from your maths lessons. The first step towards applying our input process output model to this problem is identifying all the nouns in our problem specification. And we use these nouns to identify what our inputs and outputs are. So in this example, our nouns are volume, box, length, width, and height. And from that, we know that length, width and height are our inputs and volume is going to be our output. We don't need to worry about box. I know it's a noun. It's not really relevant to what we're looking to do. It's not relevant for our algorithm. So that can be ignored. We then find the verbs in our problem. And by finding the verbs, we find out what our processes are. So in this example, calculate is our process. So using that box problem, we now know that our inputs are length, height and width. Our process is going to be calculate and our output is volume. And then we can use all of this information to help us make a structured algorithm. But more on that in a future video. If you found that of benefit, please make sure you pop a like on there for us. Click on my face to subscribe to the channel. And there's a couple of other videos that might well help you out with your revision listed on the page for you now. Thank you very much for watching.